The Hopkinton Police Department talked about two campaigns they hosted to raise funds toward the fight against cancer. All right, I'd like to welcome everybody here today. Uh, happy to have a warrior like, uh, like us over here on the PD side, <laughs> like Kelly here with us today. And I just want to say this is a, a great event, and I'm very, very proud of Officer Brian Sanchione and all the other officers in this room that have committed to this uh, cause uh, you know, to really raise a lot of money uh, with the patch idea. And uh, I couldn't be prouder of this whole police department and uh, the work that everybody does here, the community effort. It's not, uh, these guys do, and girls do an unbelievable job when it comes to raising money. And like I said, I couldn't be prouder. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Brian Sanchione and Phil Powers, why don't you come on up here? Yeah, Brian, why don't you explain just a little bit about the Pink Patch project that you started with Hawkinson? Uh, sure, it's a campaign that I saw another, a lot of area departments doing throughout the past few years. Uh, it seemed very successful and it, I thought it would be something that we could do, no problem. My role in all this was fairly small. All I did was, you know, contact our patch company, help design it, get it here, and it was with the help of the department and community that we were able to sell all these, turn it into a success, raise a bunch of money, so I don't take a whole lot of credit for it. I just kind of placed the order and help get the ball rolling. Next year we uh, hope to do the same thing and expand on a great turnout this year. And we sold just about all the patches except for the ones that we wanted to keep for yeah. ourselves to 300 patches. We sold 299 we have one for Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, come on. Guys, you come behind over there? One thing, too, I want to, uh, the second month, November, we did uh, No Shave November, and that was started by Peter Hanzeas. So that was the second portion of this. So thank you, Peter. Thank you. Which we allowed him to have the beard for two months. <laughs> we all have to shave tomorrow, by tomorrow, for our next shift. Which is tough to look at. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted one more month, and uh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> but it's for a great cause. And so I'm Kelly. Proud. So here's the patch that we made, oh, this, and this is for you. Thank you. All right. This means a lot. Thank yeah. you. And I think Brian has something for you, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Have you? Of course. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> There's my support team. Yeah, we really didn't forget about the boys because. <laughs> so, this is our regular yes. patch. Oh, wow, right? guys. One for you, one for you. And Officer Sanchione is our new canine officer, and he made up a patch for his canine dog, Titan. Oh, All right, and he's going to be wearing that on his uniform. That's awesome. All right. Which one you like better? <laughs> Moms. Here's a couple of fidget students for you guys. Oh, wow, what do you guys say? Sanchione. <laughs> These are the dad. All right. Thank you. I got a couple of hats, but maybe you'll join our force someday. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Not Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a challenge going. The Hopkins Police Department. Your honor says honor, valor, pride. Three great words. This is awesome. And that's Police Department in the back. It's going to be a collector's item. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody hopes. Yeah. Thank you. But thank you so much for participating in this. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, thank you. It's an honor for us. You know, if, uh, if you have to go through this, it's nice to be on the other side and have something like this in our community. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Serving. <laughs> Could you talk about uh, what No Shave November was all about? Well, this year we did two months. We started off in October. Uh, October was for breast cancer awareness. So we got, we, the chief allowed us to grow beards for breast cancer awareness. And then No Shave November is typically for usually a mustache for uh, men's health. But this year we decided, and I guess last year too, that we donate the money to cops for kids with cancer. And uh, how did it go? Did you it went good. We got So we had to pay $100 each. Um, there was 13 officers and two dispatchers that did it. So that's pretty much a majority of the department. Well, we had the uh, pleasure of uh, donating money that was raised uh, by the uh, Pink Patch program that was started by Officer Brian Sanchione. He came up with the idea 
and uh, all the police, the entire department got behind it, the community got behind it, and we raised a lot of money. Um, we also had another initiative, which was uh, Movember, where I allowed the officers to uh, grow a beard for two months, um, which is usually not the uh, normal attire <laughs> of, a, of a police department. And it's usually uh, not allowed in the rules and regulations. So we bent them a little bit. It was for a good cause. And uh, they, they all donated $100 to, to grow a beard. So it was great to have Kelly over here and uh, give her uh, a check as well as a pink patch. And uh, I just want to say that I'm very proud of the department I work for and the men and women underneath me. You know, they're not just out there, you know, fighting crime or, or helping people. Uh, they, they, they go a step beyond and um, do all they can to uh, uh, really affect people in this community in a positive way. And they did a wonderful job, and I couldn't be proud of um, I am uh, the lucky recipient of uh, the money raised from our awesome community of Hopkinton um, that bought these beautiful pink patches. Um, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I was nominated and chosen uh, to be the recipient of the money raised. So I thank you, Hopkinton community. You've been amazing.